Number 64. Write the electron configurations for the following atoms or ions, and then I have A through E. Okay, so we've done tons of questions like this already with electron configurations, with electron configurations with ions. So this one should be pretty straightforward, right? Let's first group the periodic table. If you haven't done so already, these two groups are where your electrons in this S subshell are. These six groups are where your P subshell electrons are. These 10 groups are where your um, electrons in the D subshell, and these two groups down here are where the electrons in the F subshell are located. Okay, so remember how we find electron configuration for ions, which are just charged atoms, whether they're positive, aka cations, or negative, aka anions. Remember, you're always going to write the electron configuration, EC, for the regular, I'll just put reg, atom first, and then you will adjust for the charge. All right, so first pretend that the charge doesn't even exist, and then once you have the electron configuration, then you just manipulate. It's a quick manipulation. So let's get down to it. So um, I'll write it over here, A. So B, which is boron, plus three. Where is boron? Boron is right here. So always start in the beginning. Remember, always follow the atomic number to get to where you want to go. So remember, the S's start with one, so this would be one S. The P's start with two, so two P. The threes, uh, the D's start with three, so three D. And then the F's start with four, so four F. Just as a kind of like a guideline to help you. So... For boron, you start with always hydrogen first, because hydrogen is number one. So it'd be 1s2. Now you're over here. So that's 2s2. And then if we just follow the um, atomic number, you're now at 2p, and you stop here. So that would just be 2p1. But now, now you adjust for your charges. So a plus three means that you lost three electrons, and you always lose from the highest n number or the highest coefficient, the highest number. So in this case, it's between ones and twos. Twos are higher than ones, so you will take away from the two, the second, sh the second shell, and you always take away from what you wrote last to the start. So you would take away one first, right? And now you have to take away a total of three. So one from the 2p, so that doesn't exist anymore. And another two from the 2s, those collectively would make three electrons. So these would get lost. And yeah, all you got to do is just erase that. So this would just be equal to 1s2. Box that answer off. That's the answer to A. Now let's do the same thing for B. O minus. Now... It just says minus, so whenever there's just a minus or a plus, we assume that it's a minus 1. So let's do the same thing. We've got to start from the beginning. 1s2, 2s2, because we're over here, and now we're trying to figure out here. We first take the electron configuration for just regular oxygen, so it would be 2p4. Now... Um, in this case, it's a minus one. So what does that mean? Minus actually means gain. So here you gain one electron. And you always gain to the outermost shell because that's probably where you can have more electrons. Remember, a P can have a max, oops, can have a max of six electrons, right? So four would just turn into a five. That's how you gain the one electron. So instead of 2p4, it would just be 2p5. So if I just erase this, and I'll erase this as well, this would just turn into 2p5 and box that answer up. That's the answer to B. C. Cl3 plus. So chlorine. Chlorine's all the way over here. So let's first write it for chlorine, and then we will just take away the three electrons. So you always start with number one hydrogen, so that's 1s2, 2s2, now we're in the p's, right? 
2p6, because I have to get all the way to number 17. Now I'm over here, that's the 3s, and I gotta pass all of them, so 3s2. Now I'm over here, 3p, and now I have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to reach chlorine, so that's 3p5. Now what does this one tell us? This one is a plus 3, which tells me that I have to lose 3 electrons. And you always lose from the highest shell. In this case, it's the threes. And you always lose from the one that you last wrote. So it would be the 3P5. So I got to lose three electrons. So that five goes down to a two because five minus three is two. So if I just erase the five and I put 3P2, that would be the final answer. And you could box that off. Next, D, Ca2+. Plus. Write the electron configuration for just calcium and then do your manipulation. So 1s2, calcium, remember, is over here. So we're getting more and more and more deep into the periodic table. So 1s2, 2s2, we're now over here. So that's 2p6, you got to pass all of them. Now we're over here, 3s2. We're over here, that's 3D, sorry, that's 3P6. And now finally we're here, that's 4S12 to get to calcium, right? So 4S2. Now take your charge. This plus two told me that I had to lose two electrons. So always gotta lose it from the highest number. And if I scan these, the highest shell, the highest number is the four. And there's those two electrons. So I can just literally get rid of this whole thing. So if I just erase it, those are the two electrons that I have to lose. And the rest would be the answer to calcium 2 plus. So box that off. And now last but not least, this is the only one that doesn't have a charge. So this is an atom, not an ion. So whatever it is, that's going to be the answer. So you, you're not going to adjust for any charges. Titanium is over here in number 22. So it would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. We're now over here. So that's 3s2. 3p6. We're now in this. So that's 4s2. And now I'm in 3d land 1, 2. Stop here, right? So 3D2, I don't have to manipulate that because there's no charge. So that would be the final answer. And titanium is not one of the atoms that you have to do like a little trick, especially when you're ending in Ds. So that's it. That's the answer to that one. And that's the answer to A through E. So this one was pretty straightforward. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If this helped you at all, click the like button just so that I know that I'm doing my job right. Thank you so much for coming here and supporting the channel. We really hope that you guys are understanding because I understand that sometimes chemistry isn't, isn't really that easy. So I'm trying to make it as easy as possible, and I hope I'm conveying that. So thank you so much for coming here. If you have any friends or classmates who are also in chemistry, you could give them this channel. And thank you for that. And I hope you guys have a great day. Happy studying. Keep studying hard. You guys are doing great. See you guys at number 65.